Good morning. <laughs> it is a gorgeous. The sun is coming up over the horizon. I can see through my blinds. And it is like almost six in the morning. And I've been up for a while. So I have my coffee with me. Mega pint. You know, sort of thing going on here. I have a creative block going on. I have nails that are prepped, ready, and all of a sudden it's like, okay, I don't know what to do. And so instead of struggling with my paintbrush in hand going, ah, I've decided to do a get ready with me this morning and just talk and enjoy the presence of my wonderful subscribers here. I am so glad you've decided to join me. I am still waiting for the 24 hour verification to go live on YouTube. I guess that's a thing that you have to do. So what shall we do first together? Huh? Yeah, we're here. So let's do this. I did paint my nails and it's Shakira Santa. Shakira Santa from Maniology. It's like a gorgeous red that is just stunning. And we went to a wedding this last weekend and it's holding up really, really well. You can see that. Yeah. It's like a shimmery red. And I had a very pretty dress that I wore. It had roses on it and it was like like that i don't have it on this morning no and it is by connected apparel yes and it is just so gorgeous those roses just matched my nails so well love it i like connected apparel especially when they had like the the raunched side to them like they do right here that that just makes the dress right there that that little design and it just oh, it cinches the waist and makes it look so pretty had I gotten pictures of it no <laughs> of course not oh, you know the whole you know on Instagram there's this song that goes around and says everything is content everything is content and you, you you're like oh well, should I videotape that should I put that on oh, feel so unnatural having a camera in front of my face the whole time. It's like, how do people do it? They rock around with a camera all the time and it's like, um, I'm not used to that. So this morning, let's see what we can get ourselves into this morning as far as trouble with makeup. I have um, a love-hate relationship with makeup, really. I, I like to look pretty, but then I don't like it to be like caked on and you feel like you have a mask that you're going to peel off from like one side to another and it's like, <laughs> and then in the heat of the summertime, it's like drooling off your face. It's like, this is not, this is not what I like. So i it's very dry. It's a dry sponge. And right here I have a Wet n Wild Serum Primer. I like this stuff very much. It works. I'm just going to put this on up here. Let it drool down the face and rub it in. It's very cooling on the face. I like it. But it's a primer serum. Base serum. Hydrating supposed to help with hydration it's supposed to help with your skin going oh ah, nice not like you drink water recently oh, road noise if my microphone which I have right here picks up the road noise I can't help it I can't apologize for something I have no control over can I not like your poor ears if you heard that then you have I, I tried I tried we put our air conditioners in 
the other day because all of a sudden it got hot. It's been freezing up here in Pennsylvania. In this lovely, well, I can't exactly say we're southern Pennsylvania. We're not that far south. We're like mid-southern, eastern, mid-eastern side near New Jersey. And you know what? Lately it has been cold. You're like, oh wow, global warming is happening so much it's cold. And then this week, it's been like, hot. You feel like if you did put an egg on the blacktop, it would definitely bake and you could have breakfast <clears throat> instantly. I have here Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And our pores do need to be erased, I guess. That's the going thing to look like you don't have pores or skin. But we shall see what we shall do here. Is it going to do? Of course it's going to do that because it's silicone based. And uh, we all love silicone based things, don't we? Sometimes you wonder if our makeup is as safe as it was back in ancient times when they were using all those poison things and all the companies back then were saying, oh, it's safe, it's safe, oh yeah, put this talcum powder on your face to make it look totally white, like totally inhuman. I like watching those documentaries on makeup and Victorian eras and people dressing and making costumes and stuff from those eras talking about the makeup and the hazards of it and how it would totally ruin your face and the result was just add more you know cover up what's gonna happen with your face just keep adding it just keep doing it so no my lighting is not the best it is what it is you know my goodness i'm a startup small startup youtube channel there you go. Now that I got, let's see, what is this? Application tip. Smooth into areas with visible pores. Oh. Well, I tried. Here we go. I threw away the, the other packaging. I've had it like forever. Well, not really. You know, if I had it forever, then it would be expired and then we'd be really wondering about our health. But, um, yeah, instant pore eraser, baby skin, Maybelline. And then I have something interesting here by Wet n Wild Bare Focus uh, Tinted Hydrator. Now, since I have the forward facing camera on this and I can actually see my face because I don't have a mirror or anything, all the words are backwards. Mm hmm. Yes, but if you have that amazing skill of reading backwards that won't bother you very much I hope so it says hy hydroclonic acid guys and there's another word right there and it's backwards Saquilinine? Saquiline? Mm. it's oil free sheer to medium that's what it is this oil-free perfector delivers hydrating benefits in buildable sheer to medium tint for flawless soft luminous complexion hydroclonic acid plant derived seclaline help prom promote healthy looking supple moisturized skin okay i guess i'll just take their word for it now that we have tinted moisturizers, not going totally white like back in Elizabethan eras, you know? We actually like color in our life and to actually look normal. Wouldn't that be horrible if we all went around looking like clowns with big red splotched cheekbones and pure white skin that looked like chalk? I am pink. I will tell you that right now. I burn so badly in the sun. I burn before I tan. I will tell you that right now. That is totally me. 
Now, if we all want to look like paper walking around, that's white. I haven't met that type of person yet, where they're like totally paper white. We all have some type of melanin in us to where we don't have that. Although, I, if you've seen Prince's Bride, I love the albino on that movie. So funny. The albino. Don't even think. <coughs> Don't even think of trying to escape. Highly recommend watching Prince's Bride. It is so fun. It really takes your mind off of things. You know, with everything that's happening in the world today, our, when my husband and I were first dating, I asked him, do we really want cable in our home? And he's like, it's really expensive. I said, well, there's really nothing on. And even in that time, I mean, that was like 12 years ago, 13 years ago that we were dating. <sighs> there wasn't really anything important on even back then. And it was expensive. And so, you know, what? since we've been married, we haven't had cable. And you know what? I can tell you one thing. It has saved my sanity not having that constantly in my face all the time. It doesn't look too bad. No, that's not covered. But you know what? We layer our makeup, don't we? We like to just layer and layer whatever we can put in our hands. This is called e.l.f. Foundation Serum. This is Fair Light 7106 EA. And I am fair to light, you might say. Apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure, it says. Reapply at least every two hours. Warning for external purposes only. Don't drink the stuff. I, you have to put that on packaging now. Um, do not use on damaged or broken skin. <laughs> yeah, paper cut. Um, rinse with water to remove. Keep out of reach of children. I think it needs to be shook really good. All right, now that my arm is about ready to fall off, let's put this on our little handy dandy Amazon bot sponge and tap this stuff in. It's supposed to help with sun exposure. Ah, oh, the sun sizzle. You know, I wonder if all the skin cancers come around because of all the stuff we put on our, our skin to help with sun exposure. Wouldn't that be a crime? Here, put this on, put that on, put all this on. You don't want the sun to touch your skin. Oh my goodness. And you wonder, how did the ancient people get along without sunscreen? Oh my goodness. You really wonder. Hmm. Did they really have a problem with it? So many questions that are not answered. You know, you have all these history books. And I like what Aunt B said on um, Aunt B from The Andy Griffith Show. Yes. Kids have a lot of history because, well, there's more of it these days. More history being made. I like Aunt B. I like the Andy Griffith show. I like the old, old time shows from long, long time ago when shows actually made sense. When TV made sense, I should say. Hmm. It's not too bad. Now there is one thing with makeup that I absolutely have gotten so disgusted with and so discouraged about is finding good eyeshadow palettes. Now, I should be doing my eyes before doing the rest of my face. I always get it wrong. 
because of fallout and everything else that happens. And then when you wipe this off to get the eyeshadow off, all of a sudden you have dark circles under your eyes because of the fallout from makeup eyeshadow palettes. Some of them are so hard to get the color out, you put it on your eyes, and it's like, wait a minute, most of it's still on my brush and not on my eyes. I have fallen in love with just one eyeshadow palette. I have here from Unique. It's a Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer. This stuff will cover up tattoos. And I'm sure there's a lot of other things out there, except from a, a multi-marketing company. I am sure that could do the same thing. I just like this one. And since I've been up most of the night, believe me, my black circles under my eyes are like tattoos. And I need them to be covered up. <sighs> They've been inked on. Not really, but oh my goodness talk about needing to cover up dark circles and I this usually helps my eyeshadow to last quite well so if you have a unique dealer um, go and get yourself some of this stuff I do like their makeup products but sometimes like all brands there are a hit and miss with certain things not every brand is perfect except for one and I will show you who that is it was a sad day in the beauty community when this was no longer available Tati Beauty yes I got it a long time ago and I've used this over and over again and I love it I've hit pan on this one right here, I love sparkles. Well, no wonder, I do nails. Why wouldn't I have sparkles on my eyes too? I mean, come on, who cannot live without glitter on their eyes? For the wedding, I, I did like the, the pink and there was like a dark and I wanted to match my dress that I wore with the green and the pinks and all that. So I did, I did that and then I used this palette right here by C Color Cosmetics and it has this gorgeous green and the pink and the red and I would say this is a gorgeous formula. I love C Color Cosmetics. They, um, but with all brands, there are some that are a hit and a miss and, but this, this one right here, absolutely gorgeous. I want to keep on finding palettes that are of this formula this is my standard that I try to go by because it is so easy to work with this palette Very light and I this is like my winter foundation for like when I am huh, not out in the sun very much at all so I should put a little bit on the paddle paddle it comes like in a paddle like this I just slather it onto my onto my right here and I just pat it wherever I can. Now this stuff does smell like house paint. I will have to admit that right now. It has that house latex paint smell, but oh, it does amazing things. I like their photo focus stuff, but yes, it does have that paint the barn type smell. I hate that expression. <clears throat> you know, ladies, if you have a barn, paint it. It's like, oh, please. All right. So what, if, if women have barns, what do men have? What do they get to paint? What do they get picked on for? I mean, it's like, come on. Yes, we do paint our faces. And, you know, it's like, <laughs> you don't do something. You know, people say, you should do something with your face. You do something, oh, you don't wear makeup? It's like, oh my goodness. I like it. I am sure that I have enough 
product on my face now to make Elizabethan people from the dead actually say, oh wow, look what she's doing. Patchy? Yeah, you can see it. Even the front facing camera can tell that there's just, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like it when it gets like, it shows your pores after you've put on stuff to not show your pores and then you put on foundation that shows your pores and it's like that's not what you're supposed to be doing all right and then i have la colors uh light of course blp302 loose powder i take the lid off of this and also poof, everywhere i'm sure oh yeah <laughs> this is called um being trapped you almost feel like what is it from from Indiana Jones you know taking this off and putting it there and then everything crumbles around you don't sneeze don't even move I tell ya this stuff will go everywhere alright do I bake? No. Well, I do, but not my face. Am I doing it right? Probably not. But I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm being creative, okay? There's really, there, there should be a right or wrong how to do makeup. I mean, we don't have many rules in society as it is about anything nowadays. So, anyone who said, you're doing it wrong. Really? Really? You have to have a bio biology degree now to actually say what you are. i tell ya. <laughs> Not me. I enjoy who I am. And believe me, I do. All right. Now we're going to take this and put it back in here <laughs> and put that back in there and close it tightly and place it in carefully like it's a, uh, <laughs> a warhead <laughs> ready to explode. <laughs> no! <laughs> Poof! Powder everywhere. All right. All right, put that stuff. Oh, and here's this. It's from Ulta Beauty. It's Tinted Eye Primer in Champagne. That's all it says. Nothing else on it. Who knows what's in this stuff? Could be good. Well, we'll say it's good. We'll say it's good. Yes. And this stuff helps the eyeshadow stay on. Makes it sticky. Sticky, sticky. I'll probably do a safe eye look for today. I haven't mastered eyelashes yet. Hmm. I know, I have some. I have some. They're there. Have you ever seen some of those really long, wispy eye, eye ones that go whenever you are like, blinking I mean if, if eyelashes got any longer I mean you're you could fly and they're like so wispy and long and it's like wow if I could master those I tried eyelashes they felt so heavy I tried magnetic eyelashes and they did feel heavy and I felt like I was looking through them and it was a very interesting experience. <clears throat> now, I have e.l.f. blush here. Primer infused shimmer blush. Mm-hmm. Always silly, it says on the back. E.l.f. So, let me get my... Oh, what kind of... I like this one. This is by... I like this brush. Because it's like weirdly shaped but it's like perfect for going up or down 
however my cheeks decide to go today and it is blending brush that's what it is it's a blending brush so we're going to take some of this go like this do what all the professionals do yeah i don't know just go up like that probably doing it wrong don't care there you go does it lift the face Woo! Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine i having those things implanted into your face to where your face goes up like like that oh my pain pain the things that we do for beauty ladies oh man not me my face is gonna stay right where it's at and it maybe get all saggy and wrinkly when i get older i'll tell you that's okay. This is bronzer by Ramel London. Natural bronzer. Waterproof bronzing powder. Waterproof. Cool. It has a sunshine in it. Down the side of the nose. Let's see where all the other shadows are. Right there. There's some shadows. Right here, some shadows. This is what they call contouring. There we go. A little bit in the eyes, I guess. That could be like a nice base. Get those eyes. Am I pretty yet? There we go. Probably ruined it. That's okay. Oh, can I let my hair down in front of you? have to put a plug in some things you can get from wish that are like totally life-changing and you totally enjoy them and so oh yeah wish baby wish you wish you had hair well now you do <laughs> tell you what it's awesome it really helps and I've had it for a long time and it totally changes for the summertime I mean, you put your hair up into like a tight bun with a scrunchie and you place that on top and you have hair off your neck and you can stay cool, do your bangs however you wish and you look beautiful. And I've gotten compliments on it. Do I tell them? Yes, I do. <laughs> it's not my own. I do this. You know, I'm like one of those people that always like, why did I do that? Why did I tell people that? And the looks on their faces are like oh it's not your own and it's like <laughs> what do you expect is anything real these days now we're gonna set this powder baby all right oh yeah this is Fenny natural oh that's that's that side a vaporizer de fixation. Fixation. Yeah. It's this natural finish <laughs> on the side. Setting spray by Wet n Wild for the focus. So we're just gonna dab this on right there on the eyes. I don't like totally drenching my face. All right, do I do my eyebrows? Not really. All right, I'm up to a half hour on this already. Half hour of working on my eyes. So, the eyes are next. So, let's go into Tati Beauty. No, it's not available anymore. Yes, I will cry. She needs to come out with another palette. She needs to make it available again because, just because, it's life-changing. I like it. And I have yet to find another palette that has the same beginner-friendly aspects that this palette gives. I mean, it's just so, it goes on so well. 
so well. And the color story is so nice. And here is your glitters, your satins, um, sparkles. There's sparkles in these ones right here. And then these are your mattes, except for this one. That one, I think, was a, <laughs> a misprint, you might say. Um, this happens to be a satin. This one happens to be a satin. But it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous how this works out. And it just works. I just took that one right there, that, that satin. I'm just putting it right here. It's a very simple look today. We're talking about going on strike. <laughs> Good! Good! Go on strike. I don't care. Go on strike doing all of civilization and answer to prayer I'll tell you what go on strike abortion clinics would close if you did anyway goodness what does society come to when those that are twerking in public are deemed amazing And to be considered womanly and esteemed. Our forefathers would be like rolling over in our grave. Tell you what, they really will be. I think they are. I think they're so disappointed. Uh, that's how, how far we've come in our nation to allow, allow that type of behavior to be said, oh, look, children, this is exactly how you behave. <clears throat> now I'm taking this black. I'm going to line my eyes as best I can. Look, children, this is how we behave when we can't get our way. It's like, okay. No. No. And if that is how women behave, it's like, nope. Oh, that was good. That was real good. That's okay. We'll fix it. We'll fix that. This look like I have a black eye. Amber heard eye. Bruce Kit. There you go. Yeah, I did it right there too. That's fine, you know. I shall be brave. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, I'm disappointed in my own kind this week I'm doing that no nope <sighs> I am sure I'm not the only one oh sure go ahead yeah Tell me I'm wrong. I'm feeling that way. I'm sure there's a lot of women out there that feel the same way that I do. That this is just so totally over the top crazy. Now I'm gonna take this sparkle right here and just tap it a little bit in there. So my channel got a little bit political, that's fine. We all need to, with everyone spouting off their ideas and everything else. It's 
like, okay. Now I'm going to take this one, this palette, and go in right. This one, it's called Stone. I'll just tap that in. Add a little shimmer to the brow bone. Can't really see very well. Sure. It looks all right. Got a little bit dark there. Move those out of the way. Yep. It's kind of hard to believe where our country has come so far. Technology and everything, and yet... We've gone downhill so quickly. The last two years. Tell you that right now. Everyone's talking about the price of gas. Oh, yeah, what do you expect? They told us. They told us that they were going to do that. They want us in electric cars by 2030. Okay. But yet, there's no coal to run the electric plants. You know they do run on coal. And they're practically running very little. We already have running blackouts from everyone running their air conditioners during the summer times. <laughs> We've had the power go out several times already this season because everybody putting in their air conditioners. Can you imagine them plugging in their electric cars into the grid and wondering why things are shutting down the way they are? It's like, um, it's because we don't have enough power in the electric grid to do this. All right, now for the mascara. Um, yeah, but this is Wet n Wild Saved by the Bell mascara it's, it does pretty good it has to dry or else it will like touch down here and and just make a mess not that there isn't a mess right here already but you know i'm not going anywhere today huh i like watching youtube videos on solar panels and if it's worth having solar panels on your home and people in Florida are getting upset because the electrical companies are charging them on their bills I don't understand it all but they got their bills down from like two hundred dollars down to like 25 30 bucks and then the power companies tag on all these fees because they're not using enough power off of the grid because they have solar panels. It's like, well, that's the whole point to solar panels is that you're not, let's see, some fallout there, is that you're not using power. That's the whole reason why you put holes in your roof to put those solar panels up there is so that you can save on the power grid. It's like, okay, so you're punishing us for doing something that has been recommended to us for years. And it makes the rest of the world say, well, if there's no way to get our bill down, then why invest in it? I mean, it's like, Wow, you can't win. You can't win. 
in this crazy era of everyone wants you to go green, but then big companies won't let you because you're not spending enough. It's really weird. I thought that was pretty interesting. All right, this one is auto eyeliner. I don't want to do eyeliner. I just did that. Brows. Brows. Should they be defined? Let's see here. I guess they should be. Just quickly fill in what I can. I thought that was so interesting uh, on what people in Florida are going through. The Sunshine State. Sunshine State. Of all places to have solar panels on your house. And then the company says, oh no. You're not spending enough. We're going to tack on all these fees. And, uh, make sure you're paying your fair share. But yet, you've spent all that money getting those solar panels on top of your house just so that you wouldn't have to use and consume so much power. Because, you know, it's the thing to do. Everyone's pressuring you into going solar these days. And then all of a sudden, you it's not worth it. I mean... Uh, I, we do not have that big of a footprint. Oh, one's darker than the other. Man. We do not have that big of a footprint here in our house at all. This is SD Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Eye Pencil in Onyx. I guess it's really dark. So. We don't. Our house is like 800 square feet. Our electric bill is like, well, in the summertime it can go up to like 100 bucks. <sighs> yeah, one's darker than the other. One's really darker than the other. I don't like that. So I got myself a paper towel. I'm just gonna take what I can off of that. Do I say that's a mistake? Probably, but we all make them. We all make mistakes, right? We're not all perfect. My goodness. If we were, we'd be in flying cars by now. We were promised back in the 60s. I remember those videos. I remember them. Those 60s videos that claim that we would be in flying cars and going to other planets and everything else like that. Ah. Now, now this one is by Wet n Wild. Liquid cat suit in Rebel Rose. It's like that, you know, old dead lady color. I like that color. It goes with what lips I have. I mean, it's matte too. I like matte. There we go, not bad. Not bad at all. I could probably do a little bit more on the blush. Maybe. Maybe a little bit more on the blush. There we go. This one right here is another matte uh, Wet n Wild liquid cat suit. These are so inexpensive. Um, on if you go on the Wet n Wild website, you can usually get things for like one or two dollars cheaper than in the drugstore. So I usually order from online. And this one's like Give Me Mocha. Oh yes, coffee. It's a bit darker. Mm-hmm.
Mm. They're creamy. They last. There we go. All done.